Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 11th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon this week or a couple of weeks now after Halloween. It rises with the sun and sets with the sun. So nothing to see, nothing exciting here. So let's look at drought. Of course, we've had a little bit of precipitation in the state. So looking back to last week, we had pretty severe drought conditions on the western slope, not so bad around Colorado Springs and the northern plains. Going to today, we have a little relief in the south, touch up here, and worse on the western slope. So those who are a little moist got a little better, and those who are dry got a little worse. Well, we'll see. We got some more precipitation that has come and probably some more in the long range. So out in the west, we have long-term drought throughout the entire Rockies and then out to the west coast. East coast is looking just fine. Precipitation over this last week is, will show up better in the next drought report, but we had some along I-25, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. The mountains, some of the fire areas got some more significant amounts with up to one to two inches in just a few spots. Fantastic. Specific uh, details with the rainfall, we had, again, about two-tenths to one-tenth of an inch across town. Looking at snow, though, that turned into about 1.8, 1.6, a little uh, over two inches over there. So we had a nice coating. It was good. If, if you happen to get your fertilizer down for the winter, this would be the perfect thing to have uh, washed that into the grass. So as we came into this new week, this is back on Monday, just a couple days before this video goes out, we had that big trough giving us the big storm, hitting the mountains mainly. We had this airflow up from the southwest, south coming across the state. In the water vapor satellite, you can see the moisture coming in, and we're slowly transitioning to more of a western flow. So you'll see the precipitation has stopped, Tuesday, Wednesday, and into the uh, end of the week here, but we were remaining cold with the trough in place and Pacific moisture continuing to stream across. So take a look to the west, look on the mountains, they look about twice as tall as they have because of that cloud deck and the snow that is continuing to fall in the mountains. For smoke, we've been watching terrible smoke for months, and right now everything is quiet. Even the California fires are down, everything in Colorado is at minimum. We are breathing easy. This is just fantastic news. Taking it back to Monday to Tuesday, it's kind of fun to watch this front hit. It really was a Pacific system that sent cold air all the way down to Mexico in the northern plains. You can see this really sharp line of the cold front pushing down in the low pressure center right over Colorado at that time. Moving into Tuesday, you can see it went out into the Great Plains with cold air kind of filling in throughout the west. So the pattern Wednesday is this big broad trough. It's just exactly opposite of what we've had for months. The ridge that we did have is out here off the east coast, and this thing has other little troughs traveling through it. If there was some moisture in place, we'd be seeing repeated doses of snow or rain, but it scoured everything in the lower atmosphere out. All we get is that Pacific moisture lifting over the mountains and giving the mountains showers at times. Going out to Saturday, we have another trough come by. A little cold front will come in. It'll cool us down a little bit for Sunday. Again, we're missing the moisture component. So the mountains will get something, but the low lower elevations in the plains will miss out. And then we get this ridge right behind it that'll warm us up to close to normal. We're not getting the big ridge yet. It's sitting over here, sneaking through the Gulf. Taking a look at the next 10 days, we are really seeing the normals drop here with 55 down to 50 for our normal high temperature, 27 down to 22. We begin with temperatures bouncing around well below normal throughout the work week and then into the weekend and next week, we just kind of settle into normal temperatures. Things again that we have not seen for months. Uh, no precipitation really at all, looking out 10 days. But on the longer range models, there are some big trough changes coming in. We should get some moisture maybe beyond that. 
So let's look over the next 10 days in animation. Watch how this trough just kind of stays here. At times it gets a little reinforcing trough dig in, a ridge will ripple through as another trough pushes in. Each one of these could be a snowstorm in a different situation, but we just don't have that moisture. There's that trough coming through the north. Here comes Monday Ridge giving us just a little warmth. You can see the ridge is trying to sneak back to the west but then another trough starts pushing into the, into the west to shove it back out to the east. And good riddance for now. I, I'm tired of that big ridge. We do have uh, Tropical Storm Eta in the Gulf moving very slowly. As one meteorologist I knew, like to say, you get a ridge, so the big high pressure ridge over troubled water. So, song reference. Uh, so, th with that ridge in place, the uh, Tropical system will drift slowly up towards the Florida panhandle. It has the possibility of striking this part of the coast of Florida, but that's an unusual location for a tropical system to make it in. Over the next 10 days, the snowfall, again, is confined to the mountains and the northern mountains at that. But this is getting some of the burn locations, so not all the fires are 100% contained yet. This is good. Just keep it coming. Lower elevations get nothing at all in snow, but there's a good foot or more up here in the northern Rockies of Colorado. For precipitation, oh, that should be green. But there is very light precipitation except in these blue areas here. That is a strange phenomenon there. Uh, and then out in the northeast plains, you get some very light rain, but along I-25, dry conditions. So looking out, for the next week, we have 40s just getting up into the 50s at the end of the week, and then that cold front comes in Saturday, dry, knocks us back just into the 40s, and then we recover to the 60s for the beginning of next week with really no chance of rain, except maybe Saturday night, not much. So for more frequent weather updates and local news, take a look at the Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Isworth for Longmont Public Media. Keep looking up.